Hello there, hello there, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Stormy's Imagination Station. Guys, we're reform reformatting here a little bit, and uh, we're getting back to basics, y'all. Uh, Stormy's Imagination Station is going to be sharing with you awesome crafts for the yard, the home, uh, mini albums and scrapbook, lace albums, jewelry, things of that nature is what we're going to be doing. And to kick that off today, guys, and uh, before I go any uh, further, those of us who are celebrating, happy uh, day before Easter, y'all, <laughs> pre-Easter. And I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. And, and hi, you guys. I'm, I've got you guys down here where you can see what I'm doing. Um, guys, what we're doing today, just in time for the Easter celebration tomorrow, is we're going to make a beautiful uh, glass dessert uh, tower. And guys, to make this, what we're using today is some beautiful glassware that we have gotten from the Dollar Tree. We're going to use two of the beautiful glass plates. Um, we're going to be using two of the uh, matching saucers that goes with the plates. I've also got me three beautiful uh, diamond uh, plant art. I guess you put these in with the uh, plants or in vases and stuff and I actually got these at Dollar Tree a while back where I'm going to be using these or some kind of uh, beautiful uh, glass preferably iridescent is what I'm using in here and then we've got a couple of Dollar Tree goblets here these are the nice thick uh, margarita glasses and I also have a iridescent uh, decorative piece of stemware here we're also going to be needing a tube of E6000 glue which is the uh, the best glue to use for projects like this that I, I prefer myself. I'm also recommending some glass cleaner and some paper towels. And guys, before we begin, uh, you're going to want to make sure all of your stemware and glassware is uh, clean and dry. And I like to use uh, the glass cleaner and just make sure that all the dust particles are off of there. If you have any residue from some of your tags or anything, you can also use uh, some 92% alcohol. Uh, we'll take that right off for you. Uh, sometimes in a pinch, nail polish remover, certain ones will also work really well. Um, just make sure these have been out in the garage, so they've got a little bit of dust on them and stuff, so I just want to make extra sure that they're nice and clean. Okay? And then once you have everything prepared there and ready, we're going to begin. Aren't these beautiful, you guys? I just think this 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 uh, glassware is just beautiful that you get over at the Dollar Tree. I just love it. You can't beat it. And if you can feel these uh, glasses here, these are nice and thick. And I like these, these plates. I mean, these are the same kind of plates that you would get somewhere else for a lot more money you know so anyways guys now then to make this awesome dessert tray I'm always stacking things like this for the holidays and uh, I thought this would be a much more beautiful version of this but like I said once you get your glasses clean and dry we're just going to simply stack guys now what I want to do is put one of these decorative pieces in the middle so we're going to start with one of our big plates down on the bottom and just find a flat edge on this. And a little bit of E6000 is fine. You don't need it oozing out. And just stick it and plant it. And then just hold it in place there for a second or two and let it get its tacky. And then there you go. Then on your margarita glass, you're just going to simply go around the rim here. And if you're going to use this outside, I would probably go all the way around the rim. But again, not so that it's just oozing and gobbing out. Just a little ring there is fine. And try to get this dead bang center if you can. Just give it a good eyeballing. And there you go. And then give her a nice little squeeze there into place. Then... We're going to come back on top of here again with the second big plate. <laughs> and I'm going to use it straight up, just like this, just like it is. And then 
you might have a little concavity on the inside of the margarita glass here so go for that rim you want where it's going to make contact with your plate and then again just simply go around the edge with just enough of that e6000 to make a nice not to where it's going to be oozing and gobbing out and then try to dead bang center that nice little press carefully I have uh, used things so forceful before I've broken it. <laughs> I thought, oh my gosh. <laughs> now then, you can either, um, then you can decide too. Now on this, I'm going to keep mine flipped the same way, but you can kind of flip them that way if you'd like. But I'm going to keep mine the same way. Now on the second plate, again, another one of your beautiful little uh, diamels there. Pick a flat side, hit the center, plant it. If you get a little string there, hit that. There you go. Just plant that. Give it a little push. And then again, come around your rim of your margarita glass with more of that awesome E6000. string there okay and then try to dead bang center that and again just a little push nothing real forceful there okay. just like that now that looks pretty good like that doesn't it but we're going to continue on and so I'm going to have to bring you guys up as well so we're just going to let's see uh -oh. All right, let's see. And now we've got you guys up a little bit further. Let's see if that's enough. Okay, here we go. <laughs> We're up again. We're fixing to go up even higher. Nope, you guys are going to have to go even higher with me. We're going up higher, y'all. Even higher. And here we go. This is an awesome uh, multi-layered tier, guys. And if you're like me, if you've got the youngsters over and stuff, I like to layer different kinds of desserts. Uh, little cake treats and some candy treats and some of this treat and some of that treat. And before you know it, it's really big. So then, guys, we're going to come in here and go right on top of this one with one of the saucers now. Now we're going to come down a little bit. <laughs> And do a little saucer on top. So we're just going to go around the rim here with the little saucer. Now, guys, these are going to be big. You might need a good storage space for these out in the garage or something. That's where mine's going. And then again, try to dead bang center that. And get that on there really good. There you go. Dead bang center. Give that a little tuck. Now then, we're going to put the last gem on top of this one. Right in the middle there. Give that a little squeeze. Now you can stop here if you like. This is a three-tier tower. Me, you know me. I can't stop. you got to be kidding me. I have a beautiful iridescent here that I want to add to the top as well. And I like to have a lot of different stuff. Like I said, I'll put cake pieces, candy pieces, more kinds of cake pops or something, uh, cookies. I like to make a multi-layer, like a candy wonderland when the kids come in. I'm that one, yes, I'm the big spoiler. I just love it. And this four tier is just perfect for me. And again, we've got our pretty goblet on the top here for a little extra added oomph. There was some iridescence to that glass. And then the last piece is our last little saucer. And we're going to glue that one right on top to complete our four-tier Butamus Dessert Treat Tower. And guys, this whole thing only costed us let's see let me get that right in the center again 
There we go. All right. Eight dollars for a four-tier gorgeous glass tower. And I'm going to take you guys off the tripod real quick and let you look at this up close and personal, okay? So I hope I don't uh, shake you too bad. But I'm going to try to let you see exactly what we got going on here from the bottom up. Now, check that out, guys. Is that not gorgeous? Look at that. How much would you have to pay for that if you bought that? Look at that beautiful piece of art right there. Now, would your family not enjoy that? Easter Day. Look at that. For $8, a bag of jams, three goblets, four plates. Eight bucks. Beautiful dessert treat tower. Give it a try. And until next time, guys, be crafty, be cool. And I'll see you when I'm looking at you, all right? Bye-bye.